Baines has become one of the rap industry's most in-demand engineers and mixers. In this video, I'll be breaking down the exact plugins and techniques Baines uses to mix the vocals of artists like Gunna, Young Thug, and Polo G. The following clips and plugin screenshots are all from sessions from major artists like Gunna and Young Thug. Vocal preparation is essential for Baines' workflow. Before Baines even touches his mixing template, he does manual cleanup of the vocal, clip gain, clip effects, and isotope RX editing. This allows the vocal to be extremely consistent when he's mixing it. I like to do a vocal cleanup first. That includes fades, a lot of, because, because we record in the control room, there's a lot of clicks and pops and door slams and stupid things like that that you have to really get into isotope R and RX has like changed the game. Absolutely. Like going into Photoshop, and, and you see the waveform and you see where the click is, you see where the mouth smack is. With the paintbrush, you just get it out of there. That's usually the first step before I add plugins, before I do anything so that the system still is very snappy. It, it runs quick. Right. I'm doing clip gaining. I'm manually DSing. I do a lot of a lot of clip gaining and a lot of clip effects. For those that don't know, clip effects is like if I hit option six, it opens up this little window over here. Now, say I have a little region over there. Okay, break it. Say that was an S, oh, okay? I just hit the number four on my keyboard and you see what it what it's doing? That's that's a quick DS. I, I, three is doing that. One is like, you know, they're all slightly different variations of things. That's if I have a plosive. I would start there. Now, again, I'm not saying that's it. That's going to work every time. But I have a starting point. And then once I have a starting point, I just literally go in there and see what it is. You know, tighten it, listen to the sound. M might be a problem there. And I'm just dipping it out real quick. After the preparation phase, Baines moves to the mixing stage. Because his vocal mixing process involves outboard gear and many complicated processes, I broke it down into four separate categories. The first category is vocal control. In the vocal control phase, Baines targets the problem areas in his vocal. He uses soothe, EQ, de-edging, and de-essing. Watch him explain his process. Vocals again. Uh, this is the hook. Pretty, there's some, some weird EQ stuff going on over there. Uh, soothe. Two instances of de-edger, which is like a... You know, one's probably hitting the low end, one's probably hitting uh, 4K. The Edger is a plugin by Tokyo Dawn Labs. It essentially works just like a DBX 902. Mm -hmm. uh, the only difference is you have like a, you can set the Q as well. Um, and it's so, it's, just, so it's a DSer that's just a little more focused. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And that's, I've got two of them. One is probably hitting, I'm, I'm guessing around 200 or 250. This is just a screenshot I'm looking at. And the oh, other one's yeah. probably around 4K. There's a DSP 404 on there, um, multi-band compressor. That's also usually there on most of my vocals. Uh, you can kind of see what the shit is doing. Same shit, like pulling down the mid, the mid range. That, that's usually what, like the upper mids. That's where I have a lot of problems. Next, we have the vocal tone phase. This is where Baines uses a lot of additive EQ and compression saturation to really shape the character of the vocal. From, there's a ruby on there ruby is probably what's adding now a lot of the the i add a lot of bottom on there and top same shit uh, <coughs> it's it's I, I i use it just like you would a poltec uh i just switch from the poltec to this dopamine from gem really cool for top end M dopamine okay so now this is all do like that must be adding a little bit of top end yeah it's pretty cool wet it's actually pretty high on this the wet right normally i have the wet a little lower uh what what exactly his, does that achieve for you it's it's uh it's it's just top end stuff a true iron on there which is uh just a little bit of saturation it's okay. um it's made by this company called kazork it's like a 30 dollar plugin but it just ends up on every vocal i do these days it's just literally at like 0.02 or 3 it's it's the same thing as doing you know, the, the lo-fi with one and one, point zero mm -hmm. one and zero one, it's yep. very similar to that. The next phase is the vocal glue phase. This is where Baines does some light compression and light tone shaping to make the vocals fit back into the mix after adding lots of additional processing. This processing is done towards the end of the vocal chain or is also done on his all vocal vocal master track. This is where everything ends up in the session, this section yep. down here, where it says routing uh, uh, VCAs and then the VCAs for it. Uh, drums bass come there instruments vocals come there i have some uh i love this guy he usually lives on this bus um this is from a dsp you have to use that the hardware for it cool yeah there's um this one has a golf force on it but the other one doesn't have i think golf force is fucking awesome too i don't know it just, just use it better. in small increments it's got like a recover and a, a tame and there's the the concept of it is it works based on there's the the dominated frequencies and the dominant frequencies and 
based on that it's got very few sliders this this one of those things don't overdo it you know i always stick b- b- below 20% on anything i'm doing maybe 30 at the most but usually below 20% ultramarine uh, and this this uh, an ultramarine 4 which is just a fairchild emulation plugin from acoustica as well also ends up on a bunch of shit next is the parallel processing phase Bands uses both in the box parallel process and using plugins like the black box. He also uses outboard gear like the 1176 and the distressor. I I do too for like I use it on on my vocals is always a parallel in the mix process. Really? Always always and it it changes between my and like this is where where like my heart like how I incorporate the hardware so that it doesn't mess with my head. I've got two units that I, that I personally like to use for for outboard uh for for parallel compression, the distressor and the 1176. Yeah, and yeah. I, I basically I have them set and I mix into them, and you mix with them on essentially. I I I mix into them. So basically, okay. what I'm the the send level is like I don't ever touch the like whatever I have it the way I like on the distress especially, and because that's what I tend to use more. And then just you know, with the send, just just feed it. Uh, you know, that's how I feed adjust it and how it much it's going to. Yeah, yeah, never yeah it's back. parallel. Now, now the thing you the thing you got to be really careful with when you're doing this stuff is is phase and and you know uh, delay compensation and all of that. And then the parallel shit. There's a parallel distressor, just a little bit. Baines uses both sends and returns as well as vocal throws in order to craft custom effects for each song. And then these are like individual throws that come here happen. you know certain section committed a lot of these and this stuff is just you know a word here and there that has like a bunch of things on it like this say it's got a flanger it's got wind balhala on it doing some EQ stuff and that so it's like you know individual words that have a couple of things this guy over here probably has you know same shit got another flanger going to a room reverb and a compressor so it's just these are just things that happen like on individual words or whatever it's not like a static effect they just come and go they're like i call them throws or one shots or whatever for the reverb i pro- yeah i use the bracasity so like when i was um, in in atlanta i used the seventh heaven and the minute i came back to la i switched it to the the bracasity so like when i'm on the road i do things in the box knowing that when i come to the studio i like swap it out or if i doesn't make it to the studio then i'll just stick with that uh i've got some 500 series stuff over here some mugs um uh, this free audio compressor from bresson jdk some H- hrk eqs and then that's the little labs voice of god that i, I was showing you uh yeah and i've got this this color palette that my homie made for me that's just a little bluetooth thing i don't really use that dso cuz i've got the actual the 902s Um yeah monitor wise we've got some ocean waves over there we've got the uh, uh, barefoot 26s and the Amphion 118s if you guys enjoy these custom in-depth mixing tutorials from today's top recording and mixing engineers please subscribe leave a like leave a comment and help support the channel my goal is always to give you guys the real plugins the real techniques the real settings and the real mindsets that today's top mixers and recording engineers are using to mix hits